several years ago, OSHA came out with a, a law that said if we had two people in the building, then we had to have two people outside with assist rescue of a firefighter. Mm -hmm. Unless there was an imminent civilian rescue, then we did not have to do that. Well, the fire department has evolved since then, and we now have a, rap, a full rapid intervention team. So that crew, uh, that crew works sole responsibility when they, as I said earlier, when they get to the fire, their sole responsibility is rapid intervention. They have no other duties that would negate them from an imminent rescue from a firefighter or a mayday, answer a mayday. So what we're trying to do is we're trying, trying to teach ourselves that if you have to call a mayday, how to do it and when to do it, because notoriously firefighters take far too long before we, we want to call for help ourselves and we're trying to change that. We're trying to make us call for help quicker. So the response inside is quicker for the greater good of saving the firefighters. The ultimate goal here is we go inside burning buildings to rescue people and extinguish fire. But there's far too many fatal firefighters in, in the United States. And we're trying to continue our training and be prepared if unfortunately that were ever to happen in this department. It's never happened so far. And um, we hope it never does, but if it does, we, we want to be prepared. Several uh, training that I've gone with New York City Fire Department, which is the, the, probably the most innovative and best fire department in the world. And the program that I went the two-day hands-on and the four-day classroom portion is what I brought back to our department and I've tailored it towards our department, which is obviously smaller than, than the FDNY. But this is not something that Carson City Fire has invented. This is stuff we've, other departments have done trial and error. And again, there's probably no better fire department than New York City Fire Department as far as innovation and actually have been involved in true rapid intervention incidents. How many of them are usually on the team? Our policy is minimum of two, but preferably three, which would be an engine company. And that would consist of a a captain and two firefighters. Typically, typically the third arriving fire engine on scene will be assigned as a rapid intervention team. Okay, so it really could be anybody. It could be anybody. 